Yes, Valley Club, we finally have a full X-Men team for the mutant section of the Incursion 2 raids with arrival at Sunspot. But is this character worth your money? We did a character review in this video, and we're going to talk about the best T-Force and ISO 8 classes for this character. And if you're ready for all that, Valley Club, then you know what to do. Find that like button, and let's go smash it! And welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I am Valley Flying, and I hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're talking all about Sunspot, the best T Fords, ISO 8 recommendations for this character. We're going to open some orbs as well. We also have a nice special character review for this character. But if this is your first time here on the channel, hit that subscribe button for more great Marvel Strike Force content. At least five Marvel Strike Force videos per week character reviews, reveal videos, question answer videos, news videos, everything you help your experience in Marvel Strike Force. Let's start this video by getting right into the game and opening some orbs for Sunspot. And we will open one of those vitamin D orbs for Sunspot, but unfortunately, we won't be opening red stars for Sunspot because got some Diamond Dawn orbs in the Crucible Rewards last night and managed to pull this. Yes, this is a very good pull. Unfortunately, I didn't get a live reaction for this. I was actually a little stunned that I got this. I was hoping to get some duplicates, then get a character up that I didn't get before. But yeah, like I said, forgot that Sunspot was in here. Got this Elite 7. Well, let's go back into the game right now. I'm gonna open one of these Vitamin D orbs for Sunspot. Hopefully we get lucky with this. Let's see if we can do this right now. Do we get lucky? Get a gain? No, it is green in the middle. We got a bare minimum. Before we get into the T4 and ISO 8 recommendations, let's go get our character review from Drew, the character review guy. Get I Valley Club. Another mutant arrival in Marvel Strike Force means the return of your favorite extra gnarly bloke. It is I, Drew, the character review guy. And today, Sunspot is on the hot seat. Now, Sunspot is known for absorbing and rechanneling solar radiation. And with that, he can fly, he has superhuman strength, speed, reflexes, and durability. And when he gets angry, he shoots fireballs from his eyes and bolts of lightning from his butt. And for the extreme X-Men, is the energy battery for the entire team, and he takes a lick and he keeps on ticking. He also gives more damage to the full team, so he's a fella that helps everyone just by being there. He also has some extra hot animations, but honestly, I think they could use a few more frothies. But Sunspot, he is a necessary part of that team, and I think I give this character a rating of eight frothies. That is it for now, Valley Club, but there are more characters on the way to review, so I definitely will be back. All right, thank you, Brother Drew, for this character review. I think I agree with your assessment. Sunspot, very, very good character, very important part of this team. Let's go and talk about the T4s and ISO 8 for this character, though. As far as the basic, the T4 gives some extra damage to the primary and secondary adjacent targets. It uh, doesn't seem that valuable. It seems like this is skippable if you are short on T4s. The special, very, very good moves, applies ability block, uh, does some damage to the primary and adjacent targets. What the T4 does, increases the damage to the primary and adjacent targets, and it prolongs the negative effects, excluding ability block and scun by each target by two. So extending all the negative effects, it's kind of like what Carnage does, up to a maximum of three on all these uh, characters. So that is a very, very good T4. The ultimate is a big AOE attack, and you're gonna add more damage to all enemies with the T4 and in the raid generating an extra ability energy for self and all X-Men allies. I think this is a great one. It does have a very long cooldown, so you're not using this multiple times in the raids, even with uh, ability, extra ability energy that Sunspot's generating. So I think this is a good one, uh, but I think the best one is gonna be from the passive. And as you know, I like these T4s that affect the entire team, these passes that affect the entire team. And this is no different. On spawn, offense down for two charge for all enemies. And on spawn, for every charge in this character, generate an ability energy for self and each extreme X-Men ally up to a maximum of 10. That is very, very important. So I think if we were to rate all of these T4s, I think this passive, because it affects the entire team, is going to be the best one. I would rate this special above the ultimate. One, you're doing this a little more often and you're prolonging negative effects. I do like moves that do the prolonging of negative effects this is a great one more ability energy is always good for self and all the x-men allies and it's not just extreme x-men allies so if you want to put some other x-men in this uh raids i guess that is something that you can do and i guess the basic is uh something that you can skip like i said more damage to the primary adjacent targets good but if you are short on t4s this is one that you could skip but as far as iso 8 classes for sunspot he is a character that applies debuffs to the enemies and for all those characters i think the best initial iso 8 class 
is going to be skirmisher to get the extra focus especially if you're using him in these or incursion two raids which enemies have a lot more resistance so skirmisher you're going to need that extra focus initially but i think long term you want a different iso 8 class it does make sense to have raider on this character because his special is attacking the primary and adjacent targets his ultimate is an aue attack but i think you definitely want to put striker on this character the reason is with this uh gaining the extra charges you're gonna gain a lot with those extra charges and anytime he does an iso 8 attack or an assist or a counter he's also gonna gain these charges you're gonna get the benefit from these charges in the passive here and if you put the t4 on this passive well on spawn every charge this character has you're gonna get an additional ability energy for self and each extreme x-men ally up to a maximum of 10 which means that long cooldown ultimates like this ultimate that sunspot has some of these other characters they're going to be fully charged but because these these charges remain through the node so if you have a full charge if you have a bunch of charges in after node one as he spawns with these charges in node two you're going to get a bunch of ability energy that's going to help in the second node and the third node very very good but you're also getting extra damage for every charge on this character five percent extra damage for every charge in this character and extreme x-men allies are also going to gain uh if this character had five or more charge they're also going to gain 25 percent additional damage so more damage more ability energy for every charge you have on sunspot and that's why i think striker is the best long-term iso 8 class for this character okay so we did manage to unlock this character we don't have him fully built up yet to take him into the incursion 2 raids but all reports that i'm seeing the full five piece team including sunspot forge nightcrawler gambit and cyclops can fully sim the incursion two raids even at low stars for sunspot forge and nightcrawler but my question about sunspot is not about the full extreme x-men team because we know they're good we know they're meant for these raids it's about the four piece team and what i mean by the four piece team is nightcrawler sunspot gambit cyclops without forge and with apocalypse are they able to fully complete the mutant nodes now we were we did do pretty good this morning with a four piece we had nightcrawler we had gambit we had cyclops and for the fourth and fifth we use apocalypse and archangel did manage to one shot that first node managed to one shot the second node we got mostly through the third node and then took in some other characters and managed to beat that but my question is can this four piece team without forge and with apocalypse can they manage to do all four all three of these nodes the first node the second node and that third boss node we're gonna do that tomorrow we're gonna build up the sunspot fully take him into the raids tomorrow but that is it for now hopefully this video helps you deciding what iso 8 class to put on sunspot what t4s to put on sunspot and hopefully the video tomorrow can help you decide if you want to purchase this character for the raids right now this video did help you you leave it a like it is free for you and it tremendously helps out the channel and if you want to check out the best and worst of 2023 in marvel strike force make sure to check out the video up there i will see you guys next time have a great rest of your day hulk fist bump valley flying out